All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning into today's video. We have more PlayStation news, rumors, and leaks to go over. Please hit that like button if you enjoy the video. And if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. So first up, we are starting off with Naughty Dog, a studio that used to regularly put out big hitting AAA blockbuster games. However, we haven't heard or seen anything from Naughty Dog for quite some time now. The first article goes on to say that Insomniac Games has now taken over as the jewel in the crown of Sony's first party studios from Naughty Dog. Now, Naughty Dog has been particularly silent about what they're currently working on. But according to the boss of the studio, Neil Druckmann, that's not exactly Naughty Dog's fault. Its parent company, Sony, is keeping things under wraps for now with regards to what's coming from The Last of Us studio, who've not released a game outside of The Last of Us franchise since 2013. Spotted by The Game Post in a panel video with Ken Levine, Druckmann spoke about what the studio has coming and admits that while he has full creative control of the game and the projects, it's Sony that has the lock on when he and the rest of the studio can actually talk about the games and projects that they are currently working on. Though he did add that this particular project has actually been in the works since 2020, so presumably right after The Last of Us Part 2 launched on the PS4. So four years and we still haven't had any updates regarding this particular game. But that means we could be about a year or 18 months before we hear anything about it. I mean, the four years is quite a long time in development. And as we know, Sony don't really like talking about revealing or even showing what they're working on internally until the projects are around about 12 months away from release at the, at the very latest. So fingers crossed Naughty Dog's next game, which has been in development since 2020, is ready to showcase at some point or even acknowledge by Sony. So let's move on to our next piece here. The PS5 Pro has gotten off to a very impressive start in its native Japan, with the latest Famitsu figures revealing that Sony's high-end console has moved over 78,000 units during its debut week. Given the fact that the PS5 Pro is priced significantly higher than the standard version of the console, it's definitely impressive to see how the new console attracts this number of buyers. Combined sales of the PS5 family of consoles for that week reached over 95,000, making the PS5 Pro the most successful of the three platform holders during that week of November the 4th to November the 10th. So all those people who are doubting the demand for the PS5 Pro, once again, we've got concrete information here confirming that the demand is being matched by the sales. Well, at least it is in Japan at the moment. And I'll have more information of sales from other countries as I get them. But great to see that the PS5 Pro is off to a flying start. Moving on to our next piece here. If you are a fan of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, then you'll like this. Konami has released a new patch for Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1, implementing new options to enhance the image resolution depending on your setup. You can view the full breakdown through the link to the article, which is in the description down below. And while it's a little bit complicated, it basically means you can fire up the latter two games with sharper quality than before. While MGS1 remains as it was before the update, MGS2 and MGS3 have had new settings introduced that will allow for better resolution depending on your console. There are two new presets you can choose from. Original mode presents the two titles in 1080p as before, while adjust mode allows you to increase the resolution to 4K if you're using a PS5 or PS4 Pro. Those with a standard PS4 sadly cannot take things higher than the full HD. However, the image should still look a little better thanks to the new internal upscaling. As well as the two preset modes, you can choose from custom mode, which lets you choose from various upscaling and resolution settings to suit your console and your display. Whichever option you go for, it looks like the resulting image quality is a fair bit sharper. So that's it for the video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video.